It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. So today's video is a little bit of a weird one, a little bit unusual because what I'm going to be looking at isn't really that unusual. I'm going to be having a look at uh, a key set and some items, a desk mat at least, and possibly a cable and an artisan in relation to the Evangelion theme. Now I just want to have a bit of backstory on why I'm doing this and why I have these. So for those who aren't aware, I am an admin for a couple of Facebook groups and one of them is the Australian Mechanical Keyboard group on Facebook. And somebody approached the group with an interest to sell some keycaps. Now, they were quite new to the group in a way and a lot of people were a little bit concerned about their legitimacy because they were an unknown person in the scene. They reached out to me as a mod and said, look, you know, how am I going to be able to demonstrate some trust and everything else so people won't think that I'm being suspicious? And I was just discussing this matter with them and they offered to send me a sample set. From a perspective of transparency and, you know, being neutral about it, I said, I'm happy to receive the set to review it, but I can't keep it. Because if I, can't, if I keep that set, if I keep the things that you're sending me as samples as part of you trying to demonstrate that you are legitimate and you're not running a scam on our members that they might pay you a deposit for goods that they'll never receive, you know, that reflects very poorly on me as an admin of the group, as a moderator of the group. And they were happy with that. So I said, sure, if you understand that I'm going to get this, I'm going to say my honest response, I'm going to review this, and I'm going to give it away to members on our Facebook group, then by all means, please send me. And I let the group know. I said, look, this person has reached out, and as an act of good faith, to show that they're legitimate, they're going to send me some stuff to sample, and I'm going to run a giveaway with it. So that's what the expectation is of the group. So they've sent me a small box, and... A really big bag. Uh, so I'm gonna open these up and we're gonna have a look at what's inside and hopefully they're going to be the actual keycap set. I believe there is desk mat involved in there as well and then of course for those who are actually part of the Australian mechanical keyboard group uh, I'm gonna run the giveaway and you'll get a chance to win this stuff. Awesome! Now I have a wriggly worm climbing into my lap. We'll see how we go with that. Uh, just before I start cracking open it, I just want to show you a picture because when they landed in to Australia, they actually shared a picture of that as well as some other pictures of it. So this is what I'm going off. This is what I'm basing off. This is what I'm assuming is going to be in those box uh, that feels inside this big bag. It's an Evangelion set based upon uh, EVA 01 which is the, the Evangelion that Shinji actually pilots, if you've watched the series. I'm a big fan of it, and it would be amazing if I actually kept this set, because I love that show, grew up with that show, watching it on SBS, before the internet was really a thing and you could watch anime, but I'm still going to give it away, right? So that's what we're looking for. It should be a relatively good-looking set, and we'll find out what else is in those packages. Now, we'll turn off the logo and onto the desktop. Right, so we got a clean, clear desk. First of all, let's open the small one. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to flip that open because it's actually got my address on the other side. Let's make sure that we're not going to cut little fingers. But because it's got the address, I'm going to open it upside down. Or maybe not, don't have to. Okay, so we'll take that out. And that's how it's been packaged. Right, we've got a hard case, which is really exciting and something that's uh, wrapped very st stereotypical from manufacturers in China. Don't need to cut it because it's already opened on the side. So, what have we... Wow! Okay, so the first thing that I can see here is it's from what seems to be a brand called uh, Lobo and there is that Artisan keycap Evangelion 
Test Type 01. Now it looks hand painted. And it looks, it looks awesome. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, this is one of those artisans that you would put on a keyboard, probably in an escape position, because it's so huge that it overhangs everything else. It's, it's not a practical artisan keycap. You're never going to be pushing on this thing. You're likely to break the actual spike on that. I really like the case. The presentation is really nice. It's a soft sort of heat shrink that's actually holding it in place, like it's, it's bouncing there. Now, I want to open this to check it out a bit more, but I don't at the same time because I want to be giving this away, right? So what I can say is just having a look at it, it looks like it's a clear stem underneath. So we'll see if we can angle that and there. So you can see that sort of clear translucent plastic stem there, typical MX. There's a bit of bowing that you can actually see on the keycap. See how it flexes inwards? And that's actually on both sides. Uh, the rest of the keycap is actually flexing outwards as well. So it's almost like that keycap's being pinched in this way and it's flexing around it. Now, I do wonder if that's an effect of the heat applied to this to make that shrink wrap shrink down onto the keycap. So hopefully, Ariety, you, no, you cannot break through that plastic, okay? So my only concern with that is because you can kind of see how much it's bending forwards. It's sort of really, the camera's going nuts because of the shiny plastic, but that curvature, you probably might hit some clearance issues if it is sitting in an isolated switch well, like in an escape position. So maybe something like this would sit better in a dedicated artisan holder if you run into that. Right, we're just gonna put that back. Daddy's not keeping these, okay? Daddy's going to be doing giveaways, so he can't open them and you can't play with them. Now, this case, now this is a, it's a hard shell case, and it looks pretty cool, but is it a cable? Am I expecting a cable? It is a cable. Wow. Okay. My, my reaction to this cable is that pink is, sorry, that purple, do you like that purple? Yeah, you like that purple, don't you? That purple is is gorgeous. That purple and that bright neon is really, really well matched. Now there's a, a connector here in the middle because that's where the text fleck or this outer sheath is no doubt being covered up because it's, you know, the same cable, but they've done that separation. It's a nice little connector. It's just a, a metal connector with some grub screws on it. I would not advise you mess with that because then the two halves will come apart. The connector here is really solid. It's it's metal because I can feel it's cool on that. It's quite shiny and now it's got my fingerprints all over it. But I'll give that a buff later. And it feels really solid. I guess the only thing that I have as a criticism is that it's very empty here. You'll see the actual size of that closure versus the thickness of the cable is mismatched. So there is movement going on here and i don't think that's i don't think that's likely now the focus is not working very well there we go i don't think it's likely that uh, it's going to cause cable damage but it looks incomplete it looks incomplete because this housing is so huge that it's the cable's being dwarfed by it if they'd used a thicker gauge of cable or some way of stepping that space down I think it would have looked much, much nicer. Now, on this other side, this uh, connector, I don't want to call it an aviator connector because it's not. It looks like a, a Limo type connector, but possibly a clone. It's a barrel connector. This is four pin. Yes, it's four pin. The camera's not focusing very well on it. It is four pins. Uh, it's clean. And this one's a much nicer fit. So when I talk about the size of the cable to the back of the connector, that actually fits snug. So that, that looks good. And then the other side of the connector, we've got the four pin, the barrel there, one, two, three, four. There's a little indent there to help it release and click and lock. 
Now, once again, here we go. So this is a mismatch, right? You can see the physical crimp and how huge that gap is. I'm not a huge fan of that. It would be nicer if they were able to find a way, even if it was like, say, purple shrink wrap, right? That they used heat shrink to step that down and just bulk it up and seal it off so you can't see those components in it. And you don't get this feeling of like, oh, there is actually going to be a lot of flex and wobble in there. Now, on this side, this connector is, is nice because it matches the diameter of the cable, right? That side does its job and they've got a USB-C on the end of that, which has got a little cap to protect it. So that's, that's cool. I'm going to say for this cable, I'd give it probably a seven, seven and a half, mostly aesthetics, simply because of those gaps that we're talking about, okay? In terms of the coil, it's nice and tight, and it's got it's got good spring on that. I'm not going to overstretch that. You're not going to play with that Ariete, okay? Not for you to play with. You can just look and appreciate it. All right. So that's the little box cable and artisan. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. I would be very very pleased with that. Now, here comes the big... Oh, so giant. It's so giant. Yeah, so giant. Um, let's, let's go just over here. And just run that over it. And inside it, uh, we have... Da, 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 we have one desk mat. It's quite big. We have that. We have another shipping label. And then we have two desk mats. <laughs> two, two desk mats. So they look to be identical. Uh, let's just have a look at desk mat first. They look like they're just identical, so it looks like there's just two of them. Um, maybe. Let's just have a quick look. All right, so they've got a, a nice soft sort of bag here just to hold them in. Okay. Yeah, they are the same. It's just how they've been rolled up. And look at that. That's uh, Type 01, up close and personal up close and personal so very angry looking type 01 right there now the back is that very sort of typical uh, neoprene and it's got that factory neoprene smell to it the thickness of this is four millimeters so that's a good one four millimeters thick and the stitching and the pattern goes all the way to the end I really like the fact that they've actually done the stitching to match that so it might have been stitched and then printed and that's how they've actually achieved that printing right up to that stitch edge so yeah that's really cool do you like that yeah do you like the picture of it now they can't see you on camera so you'd have to speak up if you have anything to say because daddy's camera is still a bit too high to catch your face there we go right now do you like it why do you like it? Do you know why you like it? Because it's purple. That's what she said. Okay. So if you, if you want my daughter to review anything and say that it's really good and that she likes it, just make it pink or purple. And that will guarantee you uh, an a approval rating from my daughter. Okay. So we're just going to roll that up. I'm not going to bother undoing the other one because it's exactly the same. So it looks like uh, they've sent two for giveaway. I'm just going to have to clarify that. I'm pretty sure that they will be for giveaway. But uh, yeah. Just tie that up. And then of course the most important items here that we're really interested in is the key sets. The key sets. So they've just put it into another bit of 
uh, protective material, which is really nice to see. And we'll take care of the tape. And there's two boxes here. And they are exactly the same. So, looks like it's two sets of keycaps, two sets of desk mats, but only one set of cable and artisan. Right, I actually really like this box design. I mean, while the box itself is really plain and there's no marking features, the fact that this little clear window lets you see what's going on inside, I think that's actually really cool. I haven't actually seen that before on anything else, and having looked at a lot of you know, sets and keycaps uh, in various things and keyboards that have been sent. I've never actually seen one where they've included a cutout here. Now, there's no actual clear window. That's just the plastic, I think, underneath. But we'll see in a second. Uh, but having that just gives you an idea of what you're looking at. So, is it a window? No, it's not. There we go. Look at that. Do you like that? Well, you don't like it. What do you think? It's purple. Yeah, but do you like it? <laughs> like I said, if it's purple or pink, seal of approval. Right. Now, this profile is, I think, an XDA from memory. And it's going to lift out that top tray so we can see the bottom tray. So there's actually three levels here. We've got a top. One's Middle, down. yeah, one's upside down, one's just flipped around. That's the lock key, okay? So, we've got some there's the alphas with some katakana on it. We've got a standard 625 spacebar with Evangelion 01. We've got a black enter key, which is okay. Then, we've got our numpad arrow keys. We've got some novelties going on here. We've got the is spear. There is another one underneath. Yeah, we'll get to that. Okay. We've got some extra novelties in the corner. And then, oh, it's a bit hard to do while you're on my lap. But that's okay. Daddy's going to try his best. <clears throat> I don't want to spill these, lifting them out. And then some more. One new. So we've got some various angels there. Uh, as well as some of Adam's icons there. We've got some nerve related icons there. So overall, it's quite a, a comprehensive set. Um, I don't know how many keycaps there are in it, but you've certainly got a lot of one U if you want to be replacing keycaps that don't fit your normal uh, you know, layout and things like that. Yes, Arieti? Yeah, that's right. Because normally on the keyboards, you have two of some of them. like. The Alt and the Control. There's two, so you can put them on either side. Okay. Now, in terms of, ooh, this is a stepped caps lock. I've never seen a stepped caps lock like this. That's a stepped caps lock where they've actually gone and angled it rather than a hard step. So, if that's how they do it on the XDAs, that's really cool. Now, while I've got this, let's have a look at the thickness. Right. This is the offset stepped that you can. Well, it's very bright. But um, there you go, there's the offset with the, the MX. So looking at that, it looks like it's a one and a half. Yeah, so it's got... Oh, just trying to work around my microphone and her. So it's sitting just over one and a half on that thickness. And unlike that keycap set that I recently looked at on the AJAZ uh, K870T, it actually looks quite even all the way around. Whereas on that AJAZ key set, it was it was all over the place. So I think that's actually really nice that they've been able to get that evenness around the keycaps. Let's just have a look at uh, the space bar, for example. That'll be a, a good one to have a look. What was that? It was covered before. Yes, it was covered before. Arr. Yeah. Do you think you can get that one out for Daddy? Daddy's fingers are too fat. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's have a look at the thickness on that. It looks pretty even to me. And 
in the center, one and a half. That's actually a bit over one and a half, almost. One and a half, and almost reading two in some spots. Yeah, one and a half. So, now, the flatness test. It's flat, it's, it's straight. Um, how would I demonstrate that? Okay, so, there's my uh, it's pretty good it's pretty good wow I I gotta say I'm really impressed with this set uh, I mean Ariety just be careful there being a fan of the show um, I really like that the colors have Ariety I don't want to close it yet okay being a fan of the show, I really do like the fact that they've been able to give that that anime feel. Um, using the katakana font, the color matching to the Eva itself was actually really well done, I think. The selection of the novelties is actually really cool. I like the fact that the thickness of these keycaps is also quite thick. And it being that flat profile, it means you can set it up on whatever type of layout you like and you're not going to run into the problems that sculpted sets tend to have. So, yeah, looking just at the key set itself, I would give it, you know, a highly approved. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to give it a particular score because that's it doesn't really work very well score-wise, since if I'm not mounting it, if I'm not testing it by typing in sounds, which I'm not going to do, then uh, simply because if I'm giving that away, I don't want to potentially ruin them or damage them if they're going to be a little bit tight on stems and things like that, depending on what I put it onto for testing. And a sound test of these keycaps is not indicative only because it depends on what keyboard you're using, what switches you're using, how hard you bottom out, O-rings, and so on and so forth. Well, that wraps it up. Um, I do want to give some positive points as well for the fact that this plastic shell casing inside the box is really well packed and really neat. Um, I think it'll do quite well as far as it being a shippable product. Just wrap it in some bubble wrap and away it goes. Very similar to what they've done here to send to me. Love it. And, you know, just a little bit regretful that I am not going to be keeping one of these sets because it looks really cool. Right. So... I don't know how I'm going to run this. I'm probably going to ask a poll on the group on if they want them as a completed set, i.e. that plus mat, or if this and mat are going to be separate items, because then obviously that just turns into more prizes available, so more people get to share in the goodness of this stuff, uh, as opposed to less people. But we'll see how it goes. So, you know what? Thank you, Charles, for sending me this stuff to check out. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting our local community by making this stuff available for the giveaways. Um, I'll cover the, the shipping for this locally within Australia as well. Although, of course, if you're in Sydney, then you could do me a favor by picking it up if you win it. And uh, we'll run that competition in the group. Now, if you are an Australian and you're not familiar with the group, go to Facebook groups, uh, to the pages, and look up the Australian Mechanical Keyboards. Uh, AUMK, there is a series of questions that you have to answer. You have to answer all three before you will be let in. So if you don't answer it, and you don't answer within two days, then your application will be declined. It's as simple as that. Um, and we do actually check to see if you are in Australia through various means of looking at things on your profile. So for those internationals who are going to try and get in to win this, there are going to be other clauses as the giveaways like we normally do which is you know you have to be in a member within the group at a certain date in time to stop people piling on specifically um, to game the system okay yes what is it you made your whole Cinderella castle by yourself it's finished okay well that's really great not quite so relevant about what daddy is recording and filming right now all right i'm really proud that you finished it but daddy can have a look at it afterwards all right 
Okay, well, there you go. Thanks very much for coming along and checking out this video. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, you want to see more of it, then of course, please hit that like button because YouTube's algorithms live off likes, comments, engagements, subscriptions, and so on and so forth. If you're not subscribed, because there's a very high percentage of people who watch my videos who aren't subscribers, love it if you would click on that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with all of the stuff that I'm releasing whenever I release it, hit that bell notification and you'll get told when my next video comes out. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. So, as usual, until next time. Happy clacking. Happy clacking.